there must have been a rattlesnake or something in the bush and so he could have gotten bit by that. Well, here's your road trip vlog. Now I'm alive and born again, rescued from the grip of sin, got your What a blessing, we ran out of gas. Uh, you see the little hashes next to the gas thing? It normally tells you how many miles until you run out. And we got all the way to zero. And we're in the middle of nowhere in Utah. And just uh, even on the GPS looking up where a gas station was, nothing came up. And uh, all of a sudden the gas station disappeared. God is good. Because it was like nine miles left and all of a sudden it went to like a zero. <laughs> well that was a whole lot of excitement again in Utah. Thank you Utah for all the excitement that you have given us. I'm like super overheated right now. We um, First we almost ran out of gas. The actually gives how many miles till empty and we no it was a zero when you pulled up to the gas tank it was a zero I mean the uh, gas station um, but it was at it was at you know dash 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 like no no more miles until empty and uh, the sign there's like one little sign like I know there's a place in is it Death Valley that has also a stretch um, but it has like signs like every 50 feet or something warning you for like six off ramps before you even get into that situation. Apparent, apparently here in Utah there's one sign on each side that says no service, no services for 160 miles. So um, I don't know if we missed it going this way or what. Uh, I was sleeping, I wasn't necessarily feeling great and uh, was sleeping and Garrett woke me up a little frantic when he was running out of gas and I looked on my GPS and it wasn't even working to tell me um, yeah it gave me wrong information it said the next gas station was like 38 minutes away or something and I was like oh man I was like I'm glad we have roadside assistance uh, insurance but if uh, we're out in the middle of nowhere it's still gonna take a really long time for them to get there and it's 101 degrees right now and that would not be good so we got into the gas station so thank the Lord he definitely um, was there for us on that one it just felt like I'm looking at the GPS and that we have no hope and we're thinking that we're gonna have to call roadside assistance and then all of a sudden there's a gas station in the distance and we got to it safely so the Lord protected us from that and then um, I went to take Colt to the restroom and he went and he peed on a bush and then he looked like he was sniffing around to go number two and he sniffed up on a bush and uh, kind of jumped back and I, I was standing near him but I wasn't right next to him 
and then I heard like a hiss sound and there must have been a rattlesnake or something in the bush and so he could have gotten bit by that and thank the Lord that he didn't because we're still in the middle of nowhere. So it's been exciting Utah but I probably will not be back. <laughs> thank you for sharing all your adventures with us. I think we're done now right babe? <laughs> So we're going, we're going back to Colorado, but I've, I've slept a, a while during the trip and Garrett's just such a good driver, safe and keeping us safe. And so, um, yeah, I hope everything goes well from now on.